Hello, everybody. We're just getting set up here. Just gonna make sure everything. Hey, Diana. He's coming through, okay? I'm getting this pulled up on my computer here as well. Maybe. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Lori. <sighs> okay. I can see everything. Hello, other Michelle. Hey, Sam. Alright. Oh, okay. How was everyone's week? Hey, April. Ours was very wet. It has not stopped raining for like a week now. But we do. Oh, thank you. And hey, Mary. Hey, Susan. Alright. Alright, so I pulled out a few different stencils today to look through. Alright, I'm trying to separate it from the ones that I've already gone through. Okay, so this one has some cute little woodland creatures in it. It's got like a couple of little bunny rabbits, a little squirrel dude, a moose, a deer, a porcupine, I think. Um... This one has happy little birds on it. This one's got some really cute little um, amphibians or whatever. It's got a couple of little frogs on it, a little lizard, and a little turtle. Um, let's see. I got this one that has some little mini leaves that I thought we could accent the background with. Um... But these trees, which were very fall, I got a couple of my um, Tim Holtz backgrounds out. This one is burlap. Um, this one is uh, little dot thingies, bubbles. Um, and this is more of a gothic theme, but this one has flowers on it. And this is like a damask um, pattern on it. So... This one also had little birds on the branches. And then we still have some of the more solid ones from Faber-Castell. Um, there were the other circles. We've got the zigzags. We've got that pattern again. There's diamonds. Oh, I am saying <laughs> uh, the storm sort of passed right under us it ended up going through a lot of south carolina instead of north carolina um but we are getting a little bit of wind not much at all and a lot of rain um but yes we are all fine here um and then we've got sort of this geometric sort of looking dilly and some uh hexagons hexagons <laughs> the frog and lizard are cute all right, so I think that's what we're working with today. So first, we can figure out what we want to do with the animal. So I think the moose will fit there fairly. The porcupine will fit there. All the little smaller animals will fit there. The deer will sort of fit there. Um, this little bird with the flower on him I think is a little bit too big but we got this little bird down here we've got a really cute little lizard these are more um, kitty looking um, patterns but still cute so you got a little turtle you got a cute little lizard who will almost fit um, I think those are my oh I got these birds and these birds which are sort of these birds up here. They're just little birds sitting on branches. The porcupine. I thought the porcupine was really cute. So let me get it out of the package here and see how well it fits. I thought it was uh, 
something slightly different with the porcupine. Um, so that's why I pulled this out and thought that one of them could be cute. Let's see. And I think these break apart. Well, they're about to, regardless. Uh, I'm throwing stencils in the floor. I think they can cut them apart. Because I think what they're supposed to do is peel up. Because they have um, a sticky layer on the back. So I'm just going to cut him out. I'm going to try to cut him out off camera because I know that the screen gets all jumpy when I get all movie. So. You started to send off October, Michelle. Ah. Uh, me too, a little bit. Well, I mean, okay, so not like my actual actual setup for October. Of course, that will come this week when I do the plan with me video. But I was trying to figure out how I was going to do everything. So I've been practicing in my collections journal with how I want to do it. And uh, trying to figure out what media or mediums I want to use uh, and I think in order to use like gelatos and things like that on the backgrounds and um, everything I'm gonna have to mask out the different shapes of the different elements and the different layers but that's what I've been working on um oh he will like just fit too he is so stinking cute all right so I think we'll do the porcupine and then we can throw some of these little leafy elements in it. It's got little leaves and little acorns and everything. And we do a background. I'm trying not to throw stencils all over the place. So I was looking for something more solid. We've got this burlapy one, this little circly one, the more intricate patterns. Um, or one of the fabric castell I just put them somewhere and I don't know where I put them. You switched back to a regular planner. Why? Did you need more structure? Hello, Margaret Ann. <laughs> the Tim Holtz burlap. Cool. We could do that. So, little leafy elements. Oh, no time with a seven month old. Ugh. Try four teenagers. Well, the oldest one's 20, so I guess technically he's not a teenager anymore, but. He won't move out, so he still counts. Um, Sam, I might be able to come on Friday to your live or watch your live because um, I don't think we have anything planned for Friday. Um, I haven't planned out my week yet, so I can't tell you what time on um, what time on Friday. Your 10-year-old acts like she's a teenager. Yeah, don't they? Uh, my 20-year-old acts like an adult, but um, wants to uh, get the benefits of not being an adult while me calling him an adult. It's a whole big old thing, and he's going to lose that battle. Um, right now, I'm losing it. 2.30 your time would be... Uh, oh, 2.30 our time. That's April. Okay, yay. Cool. Sorry, I'm like multitasking today. Oh, cool. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to say cool one more time. Um, all right. I'm going to make my porcupine dude probably, you know what? He'll, he'd be cute in this, uh, this iced rosé. So I haven't used that color a whole lot. I think I'm going to do him in that color. 
because that's a nice sort of naturally sort of tone without just making him brown. Alright. Let me find all my dillies here. Oh, there it is. And then we'll have to figure out what color we want the burlap in the background and then we can do all kinds of fun colors for the leafy elements. on my doohickeys out here. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. So I messed out this week and next week all the same um, how I have been doing it and then I will probably keep the weekly spread but I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to dailies or do journaling in starting in like October but I'm not going to do daily pages before then because I'm going to start setting up for the month of October this week oh I got two new characters done if um, you didn't watch my stories because I know a lot of people don't watch the insta stories or whatever I got a mummy person done and then um, a voodoo doll girl which I thought were just super cute um so now there are six characters and then i did a whole bunch of little like push and bodily things last night also so now there are a bunch of different elements and i'm gonna add all kinds of other little elements um like a witch's hat and a broomstick and maybe a cauldron and a couple of other things to the sticker kit um that are a little bit more traditionally thought of when you would think of a Halloween sort of October stickery kit so if there's something else that y'all might want to see in that kit let me know Mary said they were really cute I was really happy with the way the little mummy came out and I like the little video girl too so I'm really happy with them I like all six of them I don't know I, the um the little voodoo boy and girl and I know the mummy is really cute too, so I don't, I, I don't have a favorite. <laughs> it could be a hedgehog. Is it a hedgehog or is it a porcupine? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's one of those. Anyway. Shh, don't tell Wendy she's already talking out. <laughs> Oh, is Wendy Wendy on her trip now, right? Is she somewhere over here? Or on her way to the over here? How much has she spent? <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Alright, I think he needs a little bit of dimension, so I'm going to put some of the, one of the browns. Let's see. Iced chai and gold champagne. I'm going to try the gold. Let's see how he looks with the gold. Yeah. <laughs> Call him about shopping, give her time. How can anybody remain calm about shopping? Alright, so this will give him a little extra color. Wish my ink would arrive this week. Let's bet it arrives Saturday. Of course it arrives Saturday. If you want it for Friday, it'll be there Saturday. What ink did you get? Okay. 
Let's peel and look. Oh, he's cute. That's cute. Okay. Probably 100% <laughs> if you want it for free. Yeah, see, she agrees, of course. Okay, so we've got our little dude in here. Many distress inks and some dolphins. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, Walmart. <laughs> and all I got back was pants. Uh, yes, okay. So I'm going to use some little leafy elements and just go around to add some more color to the page, sort of like we did before. Let me reuse this washi tape. That stencil came from uh, the Martha Stewart line at Michaels. At Michaels. I need to give him an eye. His eye's in there, but I need to darken it in because you really can't see it. So I will definitely do that. So he has an eyeball. All right, so I'm going to throw these fall leaves like maple looking leaves up here going just behind the boxes um, and I'm going to use some of my yellows and oranges again for color. So, but I do take it that uh, Wendy is definitely having fun um, so far on her trip. How long is she for, here for again? Yeah, I did, but I don't like them. I got some Tim Holtz coming in and watching some Daubers Amanda uses. <laughs> yeah, um, these are pretty inexpensive as well. Um, these big packages, and they're not bad at all. Um, I mean, I do like Tim Holtz ones because they are a nice quality dauber, but you really, um, it doesn't take a whole, whole lot as far as the, those are concerned. Oh, is it? He is over there, I think, feeding his face at the moment, so that might be why he is a little bit quiet. Bethany says it's much quieter this week without your commentary. And that, I <laughs> thank you, Bethany. I'm gonna have to deal with that for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> Told y'all not to give him a big head, and here y'all go missing him and everything. <laughs> Of these little finger ones, yeah. Um, I really like these because I feel like I don't know if I the smaller ones I have more control over what I'm doing with them, and I can get a little bit more detailed with the colors and blending things together with these little ones than the big ones. So, yeah, I like these little ones. Oops, I'm throwing stuff. I forgive you, Bethany. I forgive you. This time. You hush. <laughs> See, here he comes. He's going to stop feeding his face and come and talk to y'all in a minute. What are you eating? Are you eating candy? What are you eating? My. <gasps> You're eating my. He's eating my chicken and a biscuit crackers. That's what he's doing. That's why he's being quiet. Because like a child, he knows he was doing something wrong. So he got silent. I didn't have that many left. He's eating my crackers. I'm eating the old one. Alright, not eating now the new one. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you anymore. Alright. 
So there's those. Ooh, that's very fall. Okay. Yeah, I don't either sometimes, Sam. I think they're good for like um, like bigger pieces and the Distress inks for like backgrounds and stuff. I really like those. But I really like these small ones for little, little details. Okay, so let's see. What color do I want to do the background? This burlapy background. Am I going to do that in like the brown or are we going to have like a fun burlapy color? Because that would sort of dictate what colors I use in these leaves. Andy's vote is for fun. So what color would be fun, babe? Well, not orange. Not orange? Stop. It's, I say it fine. Or orange. Ah. <laughs> anyway. Red leaves, like green and brown in the background. Okay, green and brown in the background. And then red leaves in the other corner. Cool. I've got this sort of biggish leaf. Let's try that one. What, baby? In the background, how is yellow fun? Now I forgot what I was doing. Oh, red, red leaves. I'm gonna do some orange in it. Oh, baby, now I'm self conscious every time I say the stinking word or orange. I say it fine. I don't know what you're saying that I say I'm, I'm saying wrong or orange. 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 <laughs> I need more stencils. They're more fun than I thought they'd be. They're more than I thought they'd be, though. Um, some of them are, and then some of them aren't. It just depends on what you're looking at. Um, like, these are the little sort of cheapy stencils. Like, these are $1.99. This one is $1.99, and you can find them on sale a lot. Now, yes, okay, so Martha Stewart, she likes to drive her prices a little bit, I do believe. So hers, the blue ones, like the porcupine or hedgehog or whatever you want to call them, um, they're a little bit more expensive. Let's see. Um, but they're still not too, too bad. Uh, and you could build them up over time. I still don't, I don't know how much that was. I don't know how much I paid for that over at Michael's, but then... See, we've got the ability to use coupons. Um, if we're buying there. <laughs> Amanda, he is the one saying it wrong. I agree. I say it fine. Or orange. <laughs> but now I'm self-conscious because every time I say that word, he starts giggling like a crazy person. All right. The massive one you used last week to get it, it cost me about 50 Holy crap. Oh, honey, I'll find you something and send it to you. Um, because I can get it to you for like two bucks. Um, which one was it though? The massive one. I don't know which one the massive one was, but you tell me which one it is. Like send me a message and let me know which one it was and I'll get you one. Yeah, definitely way too much for stencils. So, because they're flexible and they bend. So, if I can fit it into a flat package, it wouldn't. Um, okay, yeah. I can get, yeah. Hit me up on Messenger or something, and um, I'll get you something over there. Because if it's flat and bendable and flexible, then it won't cost me that much to get it over there to you. You're saying it wrong. I am not saying it wrong. <laughs> orange, not orange. There are two syllables in that word. It's orange. I love orange. you, but it's orange. Syringe. Orange. <laughs> go, go away. He polished off that box. I was out of box. And most of the dogs ate it. Okay, he gave it to my butt bups. Oh, Tim Holtz okay. ones are... 
six and seven pounds here, unless anyone knows anywhere cheaper. I mean, I wouldn't know anywhere cheaper over there, but yeah, Tim Holtz is not cheap over here either. Um, he's not that bad though. I mean, these are probably like two ninety nine, three ninety nine. Yep, I gotta go. Um, finish up little last minute details for the October box that's going out this coming week. So I gotta go anyway. Um, and I will let you know what I find and how much things are and everything. And we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> the orange. I don't know. Orange. How to say the word. <laughs> it's orange. Can you show me the, um, Martha Stewart stencils with the leaves? Uh, possibly. Um... That's got flowers on it. Um, oh, yeah. This one. With the leaves. It's the one with the leaves. So, but yes, where the like, uh, two, three bucks for the, a package of those? I'm not sure. Hey, that's looking cute. What if we just do leaves on the background? Hedgehog. It's a hedgehog? Yeah. It looks like pork fine. I don't know. I it's called it a porcupine. Like well, it could be a hedgehog. I don't know. I don't know. I know I say orange, right? Or orange. Anyway. Alright. I'm going to put some more leaves down here. It's starting to rain again, I think. So I think the storm, which is now just a tropical storm, is somewhere, was it just up under us? Like directly up under us a couple hours? Um, yeah. Right at the North Carolina, South Carolina border. So we're about two hours ahead of those, or above those. So it hasn't been too, too bad here. The rain has sort of been off and on. Uh, the windiest it was, was, wasn't even yesterday, was it? Wasn't it Friday was windier than Friday? Or yesterday? Um, they're all A6. It's hard to know what you're getting. Mm, true. I like bigger stencils for the background elements and things like that. That way it might be a little bit easier to make it cohesive on the page and fit all together. All right. Oh, it looks like he's playing in a pile of leaves. Need some green in here somewhere. This, this little leafy thing with these little acorns right here in the crease. I <laughs> screwed the stencil that I used last time. Too many small bits on it. Yeah, see, that's what I have to work. Um, about because I press down kind of hard with these daubers sometimes to make sure that it gets in the stencils and I get to where I start tearing up the little bitty bits inside. It's 
So what are you doing this week um, on Friday, Sam, for your lab? Okay. I pulled out two greens, and I swear I only used one of them. Let's try the green. I don't know if that made any difference at all. Um, a little yellow. All right. Oops, I keep knocking them over now. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So, do I need a couple more leaves in here, or should we just go to the background? Baby, you're not allowed to answer if you're not looking. I kind of feel like maybe right over here needs a... Uh, one more. Oh no, it can't go there. Um, cause oopsie. Go to the background. They want me to go to the background anyway. Okay. Um, I need to use my little skinny washi tape and block off this little line because my days of the week have to go there. And I didn't have my, oh, I hate the skinny thing. Um, I didn't have my skinny washi tape over there the other night with me. Okay, here we go. One or two snake leaves by the porcupine. These ones? Oops. No, I'm not gonna stuff over. Like that one? What's the snake leaf? <laughs> she means small. Oh, okay, small. <laughs> um mm. Well, I don't know. What about a green one of these? To pull the green in a little bit more. All right. With some gold around the edges maybe to give it a little something there we go all right now what color am i doing in the background small oh okay I need to cut mine because I keep breaking them. I need to, somebody to point it out in the comments. I need a manicure. I'm like, um, yeah, I have needed a manicure for a while. Uh, where you been? But <laughs> yeah, this bad. It's okay. Ooh, bright red. What? Oh, my Manny. What color did we say we were doing? Okay. She says red. What about red, babe? Hmm? Let me think about red. Yeah, what? On the background. See, he's not paying attention today. No. You don't want red burlap? No. Dark green and brown. Dark green and brown. Purple. Oh, 
purple. <laughs> I love purple too, but it, I don't. Uh, the fall thing is not really conducive to purple. Brown. Halloween will be brown and orange. Please stop saying orange. See, you said it right when I said it wrong. No, no, you no. Said, Please quit saying orange. Because you only use one syllable. <laughs> it's orange. It is orange. There are two. There are two syllables. Yeah, but it's only one piece of bread. This is a constant. Uh, this is a constant argument in our house. It's, it's your page. <laughs> uh, I, but I think the purple would clash. We're going to have uh, lots of purple in Halloween, though. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. All right. So, hey. Um, you are saying orange wrong. Go away. Um, no. I like the green and brown. That will go with our color scheme. We'll see what happens. I'll throw wacky colors in here, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, baby. Go away. No. <laughs> Okay. Yes, he is sassy. He is very sassy. Who? You. Um, <laughs> no. I said in the scrapbook and groups that Tim Holt should do a subscription service. New ink, a stencil. Uh, yeah, that would be freaking awesome. I would sign up for that in a heartbeat. And I don't really do subscription services, but Tim Holt's anything is like <laughs> awesome. All right. I don't know if it's Tim Holt. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, he would. Uh, huh? I don't know this Tim Hulk guy, but he's kind of making me jealous. <laughs> You're safe, baby. He's got all the women. Because I'm fairly them. certain that he is hella gay. And, um, he does, and I can't find him. I don't know where he lives. So, you're all right. Oh, so if you could, you would. <laughs> Gotcha. I knew that was coming. Gotcha. You'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I told you, I'm keeping you. Get out. Even though you're going to the bejesus out of me. I <laughs> am keeping you. Uh, oh. At least for a little while. As the queen speaks, so you win. Yes. I win. As for what? Because. Uh, she said, Amanda, you say orange as the queen speaks it. So you win. I am a queen now. Sorry. Queen ass. Hey, baby. Yes. That was not nice. Did I call you an ass? I don't think I mean, that I called you an ass. You said you're going to keep me temporary. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm allowed to call you an ass. Thank you. Yeah. You'll live. Oh, I get on I'll his live. nerves, too. So you he'll may live. not, but I will. Uh oh, what happened? April said something and it went away. She's probably talking about how much of an ass you know. No, she's talking about where I can find Tim Holtz. <laughs> you know, well, Mary would be right. I do have five teenagers. He is a big old baby. But it's okay. I'm still going to keep him for a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> He'll eat it. <laughs> he laughed at me when I burnt the chili that one day. He, he really did. I thought that that was uh, slightly insensitive, but it's okay. He spilled cooking oil all over the stinking counter last night while he was cooking. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, how's it feel? How does it feel? He didn't like that too much. That's okay. I give him hell, he gives me hell. That's the way it works around here. Hello, Brittany. I'm getting kisses from Brittany. All right. I don't know if I want to pull this up know. yet or not. I don't know if it should have little pops of red in it. Should it have yes. little pops of yes. red in it? I think yes. it might. Because we use greens, orange, and maybe little pops of red-ish. That is so soft. 
What's so slow? Oh, the delay is like 15 seconds. Um, so I'm going to put little pops of red in here. See how that works out. Make it fall, make it fall. There we go. Just little, little hints. All right. Pops of orange. <laughs> okay. It's like brown. We're bearing off course now. Um, this. What's brown color, babe? Oh, because it's over top of that goldy yeah. color. Oh. All right, let me get some orange. I think you said that just because I'd have to say it. I'm telling you, <laughs> we'll find somewhere to put purple. Ooh, I can write in the letters in purple. That's what I can do. That'll offset it against the background and make the purple pop. How about that? Okay. All right, let's see. Ew. Okay. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's not, you know, turtle party like last week, so that's awesome. All right. Me. Sort of, this doesn't really line up in any specific way, so I'm just going to have to pop it on here somewhere and keep going. All right. Works for you. <laughs> we'll get it in there somewhere. Alright. Let's get some brown in here. I think it's going to look like uh, a super colorful snake skin and more than burlap when we're done. Uh, Baby. Yes. You are across the room. I can see it. No, you cannot. I don't know if I'm going to use my gelato for paper. I am I'll show you before we get off here today. Um what I was doing for my October too. Um, what what are you thinking that you might do, um, April? Uh, let's see. I know I can't wait to pull the washi off either. The washi's so distracting, so it's, it always throws me off. Um, send them to April. I'll use them. Yeah. See, there you go. Uh oh, Bootsy. My washi tape. Come up. Why are you staring at me, baby? Because I can. Because you can. Says who? Me. Oh. I think you're wrong. Okay. You can tell when people are staring at me. I hate that feeling, by the way. Hey. Yeah. So what are you going to do, stare at me now? Yep. Kisses from Brittany. Now I'm getting kisses from Andy. I'm getting kisses from everybody. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, I remember when I first started watching your videos, I was hooked, and your planning vlogs became part of. Oh, awesome. I don't know. Sam didn't fight Mary. Yes, yeah, she, she's been using him. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Somebody asked me, did you see that, Sam? Somebody asked me in the comments um, who Daryl was about a week ago. Like, who in the world is Daryl? And why do you keep saying bye to him? I'm like, he's my little baby dealer. From all the way across the pond. <laughs> I 
like and i seriously almost did not film one on friday because like this was the only thing that i got done there for the longest bit i'm like uh what am i gonna say because i haven't done anything um it was a oogie day for me i was not feeling great i have not been sleeping well i've not been feeling well i still have a sore throat i don't know but we got one out <laughs> that's so stinking cute he always does a thumbs up Have you ever thought about drawing your boxes in first and using gelato and letting some seep into the boxes? I thought about it. I really have. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe we could do that next week. Um, well, I already put my washi tape down. See, that's why I usually don't do it a week ahead, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, because then I spent the entire day playing yesterday and the night before with using masks and things like that. So I was sitting here trying to stay out of specific shapes. I don't know if I can train my brain in that amount of time to go into the shapes. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> the Julias are really, um, when you put them down this way, are surprisingly not too terrible to write on top of. Um, which is a good thing. Alright. So there's that page. Now I gotta get the other page. That's the only thing that I don't really like about these stencils in this particular book is they're not they're not very wide. Although I love his patterns and things like that. So, I mean, that kind of makes up for it. But still, they could be a little bit wider. He needs just an A5 stencil would be great. All right, brown. Yeah, it would definitely start to tear up my pins. Oh, I put that down too low. Oops. But lucky for me, I have a bajillion pens, and I have specific pens that I write on top of colors with, and then specific pens where I just use for lettering. Because, I mean, that's to do it, right? Be extra. I really do feel like this is going to look like snake skin though. When it's all said and done. Do, do, do. All right. <clears throat> Are you doing a Bujo Junkie Challenge next month? I want to. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I will probably make it a journaling prompt. Uh, or a lettering prompt or something like that. I don't know if I'm going to do doodles. Um, because, of course, we'll have a oodles of doodles. We don't know what yet. Um, we haven't even set up the poll for it yet. Um... But October is also Inktober, and I want to participate in that again this year. So, they did put the prompt list out for Inktober, or they have put several prompt lists out, I'm sure, um, for Inktober. 
I haven't looked over all of them yet, but that is definitely something that I like to do. And those of you who don't know what Inktober is, it is just creating some kind of art with nothing but ink for the month of October every day for the month of October. And there are several people who put out different prompt lists. There's the official Inktober prompt list, which is out. Um, what gives you a, a word and whatever you want to do that you associate that word with is what you draw in ink or paint with ink or whatever you can do with ink. Or some people just letter in ink. Um, and that fits the prompt as well. So, you know, whatever you want to do to fit that prompt. And then some do, some other people do um, specific uh, or more specific uh, sort of prompt lists where they um, do all cats or something or all people or all houses. Um, so at the end of the month, they can make like a zine or something like that with their artwork in the 30 one day sort of all fit together so you can just sort of run with it but so long as you're doing something and creating something with ink each day to the prompts or whatever prompts you choose for yourself then you are participating in inktober so since i'm not really a writer by any stretch of the imagination i mean i didn't even really enjoy writing the blog post i'm much rather do the videos and talk then write. Um, NaNoWriMo is just really sort of not my thing. Um, so while I sort of challenged myself to do NaNoWriMo last year but with blog posts instead I didn't get all the way through it. Um, I much prefer something artsy like Inktober. Oh, and then some people have their, you know, preps over for October as well, um, where they're coming up with characters and profiles and things like that, getting ready for October. Baby, that's a little bit loud. I'm not doing it, babe. Okay, well, can you stop them? Y'all hear the, the nails scratching on the hardwood uh, in the background? The dogs have decided now they want to play. I don't have to excuse that. You're doing it next month, though, April, instead of in November? The NaNoWriMo thing? I need some more brown. Oh, by the way, love your sticky designs you came up with for Preptober and writing stuff. Can't wait to get that in the mail. Oh, I, then they already went out, too. Um, they went out the day before yesterday. Friday? Yeah, they went out Friday before the last pickup at the post office. Um, well, I'm glad that you liked them because <laughs> you were the one who requested them. And um, so I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, stuff in there that everybody could use. So I'm glad that you liked them. Oh, okay. I thought that was a typo. Okay, so National Journal Writing Month. Oh! Shut up, baby. Um, pup pups in the rain. No, thank you. Um, are there prompts for that, or do you just write in your journal? I did not know that that's what that was. Hey, baby. Looks like snake skin. That... You're saying that because that's what I said. Because yeah. it looks like snake skin, but it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It looks like snake skin. It doesn't look like burlap because it's multicolored. Mm -hmm. Burlap changed in one color. Well, yeah, but that would have been dull. Okay, and we wanted to go with um, fancy. Mm -hmm. um, are you doing lettering for Inktober to go with the pen sticker? Yes. 
Um, I don't know. I really don't. Yes. No. See, I hadn't either. Um, happens in January, April, July, and October. Oh, well, shoot. It happens several times a year, and I didn't know nothing about it. Baby, why are you beeping lights at me? Okay. Morse code. Uh -huh. You need to do that. For I need to do the journal writing thing? Mm -hmm. Why do you care? I don't. You don't? <laughs> You're an idiot. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You already knew it, though. Yes. There can be prompts, but I don't buy them. Oh, you have to buy them? No. no, 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 no. I mean, so what's the basic premise? That you're just writing a journal? Um like journal style writing for the month. Cause like an art journal -y sort of thing might be kind of fun. Like memory keepy sort of art journaling kind of thing. I used to. <laughs> That'd be easy. I say that and then I'll get bored and stop. So um, it should be something fairly easy to keep up with. Your journal every day of the month. Yeah. Because I definitely, by the time I'll, October gets here, I want to have figured out what I'm going to do for my journal. I have decided that it will be paper and pencil again because I'm sort of missing that I don't know I think I said something about that in one of the vlogs this week how I really love designing on my iPad I really do um, it's very easy to turn those into the stickers that I want to it's very easy to you know go over and fix mistakes instead of having to use up uh, 50 trees to make one design and all that stuff too um, so I've definitely been missing the feel of paper and pencil though with um, and pen and ink and watercolor and you name it with you know everything else especially with these challenges because when I do something on the iPad I feel like I put a lot more effort into it than's really necessary because it's not really a doodle anymore if I'm spending 10-15 minutes painting it in and things like that. So for November, instead of NaNoWriMo, I think I will art journal every day. I have no desire to try to write a novel. See, that was my thing. I have zero desire to write a novel. That's why I was doing blog posts last year. Oh, my God, it's time to peel off the stuff. Um, I, I got excited. Um, that photo journal. See, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm going to go back into that same one or... Do uh, like start a new one um, because there will be that big gap in time in the middle. But I don't know how much that's going to bother me. But I have it sitting right here. So that's sort of the decision that I've been toying with as to whether I'm going to keep that one or start a new one altogether with maybe some kind of mixed media paper inside instead of like a bullet journal sort of feel. Or if I want to pull in different elements and different papers and sort of glue them down onto the page. That's what I'm toying with right now, and those are the, the decisions that have kept me sort of held up at the moment. So, I'm weighing all of that out, and by October, I want to definitely start again. Um, but I was overwhelmed a little bit with, uh, well, not really overwhelmed, that's not really the right word. Um, I was really enjoying this designing all of the stuff for October and that's been taking up most of my time so I haven't really it's not been on the front of my mind when it comes to making that decision whereas once October hits and I've made all the designs for October and that sort of passed um, I'll have more time to really take all of those things into consideration She said, peel time. I know I got hyper focused there for a second on peeling this stuff up. This is so the best part. I 
And I guess maybe I can do like a sheet. Um, I'm skipping back to like two conversations ago now. Um, I need like some kind of header or something for Inktober. I might do something fun and make a simple sticker sheet for it with some headers. And like I said, I still haven't looked over all the prompt lists, so I don't know what I'm doing specifically. All that I know is that I'm going to be doing it. I also don't know if I'm going to be doing that on camera or if that's going to be something that's just for me and that I might, you know, flip you through at the end of. So, decisions, decisions. like a colorful burlapy snakeskin kind of deal. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful so I don't rip my page again. I do get really excited over the peeling. Peeling my washi tape. Oh, baby. Are you jealous? Yeah. Oh, you'll be okay. The pill in the washi tape is so the best part. Is it? It really is. Do you want to do it? Nope. No? You don't know how satisfying it is. You could grab that little piece right there. <laughs> Are you touching it? It's very satisfying. That wasn't as satisfying as I thought it was. <laughs> It wasn't as satisfying as you thought it was going to be? No, not at all. I found it very satisfying. I did. And it was just like porn to watch you do it. It was porn. <laughs> well, let me peel a whole bunch. <laughs> you didn't peel a whole bunch? I thought you didn't want I'm to peel the washi tape. walk around with washi tape now. <laughs> That's what it takes to get you excited. <laughs> He's just going to walk around peeling washi tape off of papers now. That's that's awesome. I saw that you got those, Sam. I really did. I was so, so excited for you. <laughs> she Sam asked if, she, if they should leave. No, I think you're safe. Uh, I know. <laughs> well, he safe. was rubbing in. <laughs> He's crazy. I didn't tell him to rub it. You okay, baby? You have this look on your face. <laughs> <clears throat> calm down. Calm down. Everybody calm down. <laughs> You're so crazy. All right. Time to make some lines. No, it's not that time, is it? Yes, it's time to make some lines, baby. Awesome. Some crooked ones at that. Awesome. Purposefully crooked. Mary said she would leave if we were going to make it X-rated. He went back into the living room. I think you're safe. Crazy makes our house work. I don't know. <laughs> What's my dog doing? I can't come here. I'm sort of doing what is he got wrapped around his head? Baby! Get that off his head. Baby. He's wrapped a big long monkey around my hook man's head. Baby, get it off his head. He's slipping out. Oh, he's not. I've been doing it for the last hour. Of course you have. I thought you weren't playing with him. 
You lie. Oh, no, you lie. You lie. Gypsy freaks out a little more. Gypsy's scared of everything, though. So, of course, she freaks out more. I can't believe you were over there lying to me. Okay. First, you ate my chicken and biscuit crackers. And then... See, now. Oh! That's what you get. Hit daddy in the nads. You okay? <laughs> oh. Man down. <laughs> Man down. I um, guess did not appreciate you wrapping that monkey around his head. Did you, Hutchman? Oh. No, he did not. You okay, Daddy? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy's trying to kiss him better. Oh. <laughs> She's giving him all the kisses. Oh, shit. <laughs> you all right, baby? Funny. It is a little bit funny. It's not funny at all. You thought it was funny when you wrapped that thing around my hutch man's head. So, I think it's funny when he jumps up and pops you in the balls. Hey. I love you. Not Don't eat my biscuits. Ugh. That's because it was funny. I'm not mean, and well, I mean ish. It's okay though. <laughs> Daddy, be fair. No. Yes. Uh, you wrapped the thing around his head. Y'all were even. Give him some biscuits. Not even it's even. It sounds perfectly even to me. So. How about everybody stop eating my biscuits? That's also fair. Okay. What are you over there whispering? Um, he can have as many biscuits as he wants. Oh, is that right? Uh-huh. Right here. Right. And that's not me. No, that's not me. That's being fair. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're just making lines over here. Totally off topic. I do not abuse you. Don't Thank say you. that. Okay, I don't think anybody's going to buy that. I don't feed you bit. <laughs> I did not say that. Oh, my goodness. Who am I blaming this on again? Who was it that said they missed you? It was too quiet. It's Bethany's fault. Yes, it's Bethany's fault. The Anda, Andy and Amanda show is on again, and it's Bethany's fault. We're blaming it on her. <laughs> that is not what I said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that was an extra crooked line. Stop whispering. I was 
talking to that one. Mm-hmm. About that psychiatrists was. and stuff. Does that abuse you? Yeah. You're okay. Shake it out. Rub some dirt on it. You'll be fine. Why? Then you beat me because I got dirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beat you. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm telling lies. You only let him eat once a week. I only let him eat once a week. Y'all were hearing it first. He's crazy. You got fat storage? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You ain't right. Y'all eat better than most people everywhere. So, I don't want to hear it. I'm not going to do that one. I'll love you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, subject change. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby, what? stop. I do not. You're okay. What's the word? Oh, that's my fault. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Let's play that out. <laughs> Let's play that out. <laughs> You'll be all right. Keep me in a cage in the bedroom. Do not keep you in a cage, baby. Stop. <laughs> on Sundays. Amanda, are you going to have your Halloween stickers in paper form? Yes, I am. They will all be regular stickers and uh, probably digital as well. I, I like having both options. But yeah, um, pretty much all of the stickers are going to be in both forms. And then I'm going to do probably a couple of NaNoWriMo printables and things like that as well that I'll probably be giving away for free um, in the upcoming month. Like a couple of trackers or something like that um, for the different things. And I found a couple of sort of Preptober prompt lists or something and I thought I would turn something like that into a printable and sort of combine them to help everybody who wants to do the whole Preptober thing. So yes <laughs> but yeah no all the stickers are always going to be available in the um in paper form do 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 i penciled these in this time um so I didn't have to think so hard about talking and writing at the same time. And now I have nothing to say. Um, but then I forgot to do it for the next week. So the mask, the washi tape is over nothing. What, baby? Did you say you had nothing to say? Like, I'm, like, out of stuff. I don't, I got nothing. Yeah, okay. That is online, right? <laughs> will, it, will it record after that? <laughs> and I'm speechless. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, um, I will definitely be doing a video on that, and I will be sort of going over it as well in the October Plan With Me video. So, essentially, there are four different little sections. Um, there are weekly items, daily items, and then sort of like a bi-weekly or twice a month kind of thing, um, not twice a month, actually. I have them twice a week. And then you fill in the little spots. I thought I had one over here, but then I moved all my stuff out of the way. Here it is. 
Okay, so for like this one, uh, the ones with all of the boxes, those are daily tasks. So you would put like one daily task in here, one daily task in here, and this would be labeled daily. And then that's Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday, whichever way you want to do it. And then you would fill in a box for each one of those days. This section over here is the twice a week. So you've got two for up to five weeks, depending upon whether your month has four weeks or five weeks in it um, would be how many you fill in there. And I figure I'm going to just sort of black in the ones that I don't need on any given month. But it makes it sort of universal. So these four are for twice a week. And then you go back to a couple more daily tasks to sort of even it out. And then these are once a week. So this is weekly. And then you would put what day of the week you plan on doing that specific thing. And then you have all the space to label it. And then up to five weeks, you could fill in your little box. So I hope that helped. But and I'll go over it again and in more detail when I use it in the video. And then I will probably because I'm going to have a couple versions on it of it because uh, there are some things that I do like once a month. And so I was going to have a monthly sort of list in there as well. Um, so there might be a couple of different versions and I'll do a video on those and how to use them. I'm getting off of my pencil marks here because they sort of ran into my line, but that's okay. Oh, you're welcome. I'm curious to see how well it's going to work out. And I think for October, I have decided to do individual little calendar style boxes um, for my habits and then I may just do the circle tracker that I had been using um, a while back for self-care because I was looking to change them up again since I was using that one weird tracker for intentions so I think I'll, I'll probably accent the different little habit calendars with like a sticker. I thought like a little potion bottle or calendar, uh, not calendar, or cauldron or something like that on the edge of each one to give me a place to sort of label each habit. I don't know. I'm still working it out. Which I'm sort of running out of time to do because I was planning the plan with me video for... Tuesday. I normally do them on Fridays and I would have done them this Friday, but I got so wrapped up in um, doing the little characters that there was no way I was going to be done with the sticker set in time because I still have to make the little washi strips and other little elements to go in the kit. So all of the rest of the day today, I'll probably be drawing a little bit more. And then tomorrow will definitely be all about the rest of the sticker kit. Folks going crazy in the background. I went back to my bubble letters this time um, for this week down here at the bottom. They were having a good old time in the living room here. made my ass go so crooked. Because <laughs> you keep saying things like that. Oh my god. 
you stop that. You're horrible. Oh, uh, flash flooding yeah. warning right area. Right there, my, my phone is over here vibrating like crazy. I'm going to stop talking to you, baby. Mm hmm. Oh my god. I got you stars. Oh, <laughs> yay. Yay at me. Yay. You right. hear animal noises. Oh, stop. Alright. Uh, that S is a little crooked. You go away. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to drive mommy crazy. A little bit. Yeah, I made my S crooked. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm throwing erasers now. Don't be there. Calm down. It's all right. Don't get the belt. Right? Baby. <laughs> Go sit down. Mama's going to beat us with belts. Come on. She's going to beat us up. Let's go. It's like, Don't Mama's stand there and look at me like, yeah, she ain't never beat me, pal. <laughs> they don't believe you. You're a fibber. What's happening? Why are you laughing? Mommy's gonna beat you. <laughs> Go away. No, I love you. I love you too. So much. Telling everybody I beat you. Well, first you starved me. I mean, it's all right. A what? I can handle missing a meal. Oh my god. I did not starve you either. Okay. Now we're gonna put our purple highlights in our letters. Maybe. I love, I love you, baby. Bye -bye. Oh my god. So hateful. Alright. Well, let's go. Hurricane. The hurricane's finally here? Yeah. Alright. Well, go on outside then. <laughs> Is there traffic? Any supper ideas? We are having a pork loin, I believe, here. This is something simple. Ah! And all I have to do is pop that bad boy in the oven. Like, instantaneously made me hungry. Oh, I did, oh, by the way, drink all of my nasty chocolatey things. Um, I ran out yesterday. I had one chocolatey thing every day and just knocked them back like shots uh, <laughs> to get them down. So I'm going to try those other ones. The carnation ones, I think, is what y'all suggested. I'm going to go, no, Slim Fast, Slim Fast ones. I had carnation um, when I go to the grocery store. I'm going to get some different ones. But I was a big girl and drank all my nasty chocolatey things all week. Yeah, so I'm yeah I don't really think I'm going to buy those again. Here come the thirsty dogs. <laughs> they have the loudest drinkers ever. I think 
them and do all these letters in purple and then do the dark purple as the drop shadow. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna write September in here. I guess I'm gonna have to write over my little leafy things and then put the wheat down here. I don't wanna write over my porcupine or hedgehog or whatever the crap it is. Crap's not a nice word. And he's back. Why don't you say it like you <laughs> is really quiet. It's just like me and you, Michelle, at this point. And Andy when he keeps coming back in. You didn't get blown away, baby? No, he took that, remember? Ugh, oh, God. He's being such a smart ass today. I did not call you fat. Yeah, you kind of did. No. There are several reasons why nobody would believe that I don't feed you. Because I'm fat. That was not one of the ones I was using. Because I bring you food at work, and I tell people I bring you food at work, and because I'm always cooking something in this darn house to feed the pigos, and um, all kinds of things. So it had nothing to do with you being big, baby. I do love you. I take time out of my because you're squishy. Oh well, that's possible. Um. Yeah, I take time out of my busy schedule each day to bring you lunch at work. Well, not so much this week, but, you know. Yes, I will. Thank you. You're beautiful. You're lovely. You're a wonderful woman. Aw. We're so big. <laughs> we are not married yet. <laughs> um... We have not, we're not, we're not married. He's just kind of here. Aren't you, baby? Yep. I found him on the curb. Oh, like a stray. Like a little stray. And brought him home one day. And put you in the cage. Okay. Well, and that's all she wrote. That's pretty much. No, we're living in sin. That's okay. No, we are not. <laughs> Nothing in that says thou shalt be married. Hmm. You wouldn't know how to do it any different. Oh, yeah. aren't you sweet? You love me so much. Oh. <laughs> Call me crazy. Eh, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> At a planner event. There you go. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Yes, I was in there doing my planning all nice and neat. And you come over and tell me I did that. I did that. You said you were doing that wrong. You need to change the colors. I told you you, you were doing, doing it wrong. We were like still in flower. love. <laughs> it was like a flower telling me that. Uh, I was doing something wrong. And I fell in love. 
You're insane. You know that, right? It's okay. But you are. I'm a little insane. bit. We have been together. We've really not been together that long. We've been together six months. Oh, yeah. Come on, get that in your mouth. Six months. Oh, when is it, baby? Did you have to ask me that a lot? Yes, I do. Give me the date, baby. Uh... Uh, uh, let's start with the month, baby. Uh, oh, okay. And we just broke up. <laughs> somewhere around March. Somewhere around March or in March, baby? In March. Uh-huh. Somewhere around the 10th. Okay, there you go. It's okay. That's when you handed me the rope. Look, see, April knew that. How did April know that? Because she was there, crazy. It's <laughs> so stupid. I was like, is she stalking me? I don't know her. <laughs> no, nobody's stalking? stalking you, baby. Is she stalking me? You're okay. Oh, hi, Mikey. Oh, thank oh, you. Mikey. No, you didn't miss the whole set. Well, I mean, most of it. <laughs> It's okay. You got, um, I got to figure out, I got to do, um, uh, what am I doing, baby? Oh, I got to do the September and the week. But then I'm going to show my, um, October, uh, October, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> That was your hillbilly uh, uh, October um, crap that I was working on. Um, call me hillbilly. I call you hillbilly. You go away. Nope. And Andy just got kicked off the live. Uh <laughs> not. The live will not oh. survive without me. Bye, Margaret Ann. Bye, Margaret Ann. <laughs> Margaret Ann. You may be a little bit. Okay, you sound like a hillbilly. I am a hillbilly. That is for sure. I'm from Kentucky. All what right. do you expect? What am I doing? I'm doing September. Oh, I didn't write it in anywhere. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> Why are you laughing at me now? Uh, because you lost where you was at. No, I didn't lose where I'm at. I just don't like not penciling things in. Oh, Susan says it's okay. She's married 30 years and she doesn't get that date right, so... It's not okay, Susan. He needs to know the dates. No. It's okay. Oh, thank you. I, apparently, it is a hedgehog. Everybody keeps saying hedgehog. Well, I called it a porcupine. It's, it's fine. Porcupines have quills. Uh, that could be spiky. So do freaking hedgehogs. No. Uh, what do you think that they're made of then? Feathers. They're not. <laughs> Bethany, where are you? <laughs> this is so her fault. I like Bethany. Where's Bethany at? <laughs> what is Bethany uh, doing? All right. So I got to fit September 17th to 23rd in here. Oh, bye, Diana. Bye, Diana. Diana. Yes. I'm in September, right? We're still in September. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're still in September. You're throwing me off, baby. How am I throwing you off? Well, I mean, usually there's not somebody standing over top of my shoulder. Well, it's because you let me out of the cage. You shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that? Bye, Diana. Bye, Diana. Bye, Diana. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Shh. Shh. Don't be mean You're going to make me misspell September. How am I, I going to make you misspell September? Because you can't spell September. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm going to make you misspell Set it. Ten. I'm not going to have any room for my thank you. Andy is wrong. Hedgehogs do, do have quills. 
Uh, yes, it's called a hedgy rest. Thanks for the. You're always okay. wrong. He's used to it. I'm always wrong. I'm a male. Yes, that makes him always wrong. But I'm so beautiful. It doesn't matter. Yes, baby. That you are. You are beautiful. You could say that with a little more sarcasm. I, I bet I could. You want me to? September. Okay. Well, that took up the whole space. Are you calling me ugly? Um, I said you were beautiful, baby. I think you're beautiful. All right. September. So he's crazy as hell, but he's beautiful-ish. I love you. Ish? Well, I was going to say, you more well, handsome. Don't you want to be handsome, or do you want to be beautiful? You could be beautiful. If I want to be beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> it's thinking beautiful. Okay. All right, there's September. I'm going to have to put the 17th through the 23rd down here. That's okay. See? You made me write too big, baby. Nope. You did too. Because that's the way life works, baby. Alright. There's September 17 to 23. And then I need my Monday through Fridays down here. Doesn't the black really stand out? The, the black really stands out. I like it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, well, thank you. I think it came out good, the September thing, because I kind of arched it over a little hedgehog. We're calling it a hedgehog now. Oh, but that's right. He needs an eyeball. Mm -hmm. There is his eyeball. I think, I think. That makes it done. Okay, so where's my other book? Yep, I'm calling that done. Um, real quick, so I was playing out trying to figure out what I was gonna do with October, and I was playing that's where I came up with how many spaces I wanted in my thingy. So, how I was going to do this October setup. So, this is a really, really messy version of what will be the printable. But, I was making sure that the pen would cover up the tree um, over top of the gelatos pretty well. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to make the highlights and stuff on the tree. So, I'm probably going to go in with a really, really dark gray at first instead of the black. Um, some of this up here is colored pencil. The smidgy bits over here are oil pastels. These are the gray and the tombstones is just Tombow. And then we've got gelatos going on back here. So, what I decided is that I'm going to do the gelatos on the background. My tree's not going to be that big because I had to off-center my calendar because my tree was too big. But I'm going to have to mask out the shapes that I want for the different things. So I have the, well, I had to pop it into the wrong case. But this remo remo removable stuff, um, tape runner or whatever, is what I'm going to be using. So I masked out a calendar. And I'm going to put it in the middle of the page and mask out that shape so I could do my background. And then mask out where I want the other elements to be. So, like, this will be where it goes. I mask out a couple of little, um, like, tombstone deals to put in there somewhere. And I masked out a pumpkin, like, in the printable. And then I masked out a little birdie dude or whatever. Um, my bird dude is like off though. He doesn't look right. I might have to do a different one. So 
I'll do the background and then I'll peel that stuff up and then I've got the outside of this circle I can lay down to mask out just the shape of the moon and then I can do the moon and then I'm going to go in and do all of it with pen. So I think that's how it's going to work very extra for me to set up for October but I think the benefit of the way it's going to look when it's all said and done will make me happy. Um, but that's the plan right now for like this page for October. So I was just playing around with the different mediums and making sure nothing bled, which oil pastels and color pencils and things like that obviously won't. But I think I may also try a little bit of watercolor in there. I don't know. So that's the plan for this week. And then for those of you who don't watch Insta stories, let's see. So here's the whole idea which is also on my Instagram for next week. So this is the printable that will go out to all of my patrons this month. Um, I worked really hard on it and I actually really really love how it came out and I had to call it finished or I was never gonna I was never gonna stop playing with it. I'm trying to get it in focus here. So that is the monthly calendar spread for the month of October. And then I'm going to show off what do I got? We got all our little potion bottles here, which will be stickers. So very, very cute. And then the new additions were <laughs> they're playing with plastic right here beside of me. The new additions are the Voodoo Girl. Let me see if I can. There is her background. Um, so basically, I just moved her little safety pin down here and gave her some little pigtails with little skulls um, as decoration to make her a little Voodoo Girl. And then we have also got this is the little mummy. So, that is the little, I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> she said, is it a raven or a crow? It could be either. At this point, I have no idea. Um, it's just a generic black bird at this point. Um, but this is my little, this will be the little mommy dude. So, that's six characters for the collection. So, you got the witch. Oop, no, there's seven now. Oop, and now I'm going to have to even it out and do eight. Because there's a witch, the zombie dude, little Frankenstein monster, voodoo doll. That says voodoo doll, but he's a mummy. Voodoo girl. And then the vampire. So, those are the characters for the October kit. Anyway, I thought the mummy came out really cute too. I like him. <laughs> So, it could be a him. It could be a her. It's purple. I know that. I was like, I didn't want to do another green underneath, so I made him purple underneath of his little bandages. But, all right. I think we're pretty much done for today. Um, I got the purple in there, which sort of really pops off against our snake skin burlap sort of background. Um, and then I will fill all my stuff in later but yep I think we are definitely going to wrap up for today now I know Cindy's going to be on in about oh, 45 minutes and so and then I've got dinner to make all right I will see y'all again here next week I hope y'all all have a really good week and um I will be back at the vlog on Monday bye everybody honey say bye, bye. there you go You're so crazy. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God, y'all. <laughs> this man is insane. Okay, bye.